Okay, we are back here in our stock room. Uh, this time I want to show you something. Uh, this one is officially termed the uh, hole effect, and this could be used as a great mechanism as a magnetic braking uh, device. So if you come here and zoom in on this, what I have is basically a magnet here, and I have uh, something, a pendulum hanging, and if I swing this pendulum, now this one, the braking effect is not that great because you could see here, if I unscrew this, if I unscrew this and you're gonna see, you're gonna see here slits that have been cut into the metal and they're not even connected at the bottom. So as this thing is swinging through the magnet, the uh, current is created because there's a change of magnetic field. So this is also related to Faraday's law. So the current is created and that current is called the hole current. So, uh, and that acts as a mechanism for stopping the me metallic piece. But since the piece is not connected here, the current created is not that strong. But if we go to this model, you're gonna see the bottom portion is connected even though there's slits in the um, middle. So here, the braking mechanism is gonna be a little stronger. So you could watch this one now. I'll hang this one, screw it in, and then we'll go to a, even a stronger one. So I'll swing it, and it should break faster than the other one. Ooh, that was pretty fast. So I'll leave it to the inventors to conceive of ways of using this. This could be, in the future, I can conceive of cars stopping with magnetic braking systems. Okay, this one now is pretty much solid, so it should have the strongest braking mechanism. So I'll screw this in. Swing it. Doesn't even make one cycle. It doesn't even make half a cycle. It just comes, and instead of going up there, it doesn't even make half a cycle. It just quickly stops that. So imagine cars stopping via that mechanism. So this one is a really cool demo. It applies Faraday's law, and it's called the whole effect, and it, I kind of term it the magnetic braking system. Okay, thank you. Okay, I want to also show you another kind of adjustment we can make here. This one, uh, remember, is the one that uh, basically only went a quarter of a cycle. It stopped immediately. But now, if I want to adjust, I can actually make the magnetic poles here farther apart. The way that this is made, you can actually unscrew it and take them farther apart. So I could have like this. And let's say I don't want to break as fast. So it takes a little bit longer. And if I go more out, more out, it's gonna be less. So this is kind of like the equivalent of you might wanna brake your car, sometimes you might wanna do a fast brake, sometimes you might wanna do a slow brake. So there could be a mechanism of having a magnet to, to each other very close or farther apart, and depending on that, you strengthen the magnetic for a braking system. Okay, good.